Okay, so I've got a 2000 Volkswagen Cabrio. I must say, it is the best I've Right down here. I think that would be the only So you can see it. Right down there is the backup light switch. If your rear lights, backup lights aren't working. And then down behind that is the VSS vehicle sensor, vehicle speed sensor switch, and that controls the instrument panel. So if your speedometer and tachometer aren't working, this could very well be the cause. So in my case, I'm missing my speedometer and tachometer, and I'm going to replace this switch in the hopes that it fixes it. And you can see there's a, I think it's a Torx, there's a Torx bolt and then a little hold down plate and then you can remove the switch. And I'll remove the uh, this connector. Just squeeze in those. Just have to squeeze in these tabs and lift this off. Here's my setup. I've got just a uh, like a U-joint down there with a Torx bit. I think it's a T40. And, uh, and I'm going down through between the brake lines here. And you can get a pretty reasonable shot. It's a good idea to clean out. I used a compressor and blew out the center of the Torx bit so that to free the dirt and allow the bit to go in. So I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and there it is. I didn't even realize this was mag magnetic. So there's the screw, and let's see, that is a, a T45. So should be able to reach down and pull this up. And there it is. And there it is. And so that's what it looks like. And if this bad boy isn't working right, then you don't have a speedometer and you don't have an RPM uh, reading. You don't have a tachometer. There's nothing obvious about this that would make me think it's bad. Uh, the leads look clean. So I'm just betting and hoping that the internal mechanism just isn't working. It's an SU5457 and I think it cost some, it was somewhere around $60. Uh, so it's not cheap, but if you want your instrument panel working, that's what you need. And here it is, and we'll just install it back in, and then hope this fixes the problem. So we're going to go right back in, in there, and I don't see the need for recording the rest of this, but we will, I will report to see if this actually repairs our instrument panel. Okay, and as you can see, we now have the instrument panel working. So the VSS sensor, the vehicle speed sensor in the transmission, was what this instrument panel needed to be, to be working again. So I hope this helps you if you're stuck. I was originally going to switch out the instrument panel thinking it had bad contacts or something behind it um, until I talked to someone who was a lot smarter than me. And here's the result, and I'm sharing it with you.